morning students yesterday we did about distance and displacement in motion chapter see this now this is our next topic of the motion chapter that is speed and velocity so we have to do this topic today so without wasting our time let us understood about this what is speed speed is defined as distance covered by an object in per unit time it is a scalar quantity its SI unit is meter per second. Now listen it. What I have told to you. Distance covered per unit time. Means position changes from one point to another. In some duration. So when we divide this distance by time. So new quantity comes. That is speed. So that's why its SI unit is meter per second. And it does not depend on direction. Only magnitude it needs. So it is a scalar quantity. Like you can see that. Already I have written. So I can write it. 90 meter per second so i am talking about speed now just see this velocity yesterday we have done related distance and displacement similarly like that so velocity is defined as displacement per unit time and it is a vector quantity like displacement it is si unit is again same like speed and velocity so if i will say that 90 meter per second towards east word east so i am talking about velocity and if i am saying moving with 90 meter per second beta so it is i am talking about speed or if i will match give the direction then i am talking about velocity this is the difference between them so now the next is average speed average speed is defined as the total distance covered in per unit total time average speed is total distance upon total time this is required to calculate when we are saying like 16 meter cover in 4 seconds, 10 meter cover in 2 seconds. So at that time, we have to calculate it. Keep different, different distance covered in different, different time. So that time we calculate it. Next is average velocity. It is calculated by total displacement upon total time. So as you can see that distance can never be zero. So average speed can never be zero. Average velocity is displacement upon time. So, velocity, average velocity or velocity can be zero, but speed can never be zero. Also, average, we used to calculate average velocity by two formula when velocity like say, saying ki every uh, 90 km is covered in every one, in every one hour. So, that time like I am saying my initial velocity is 90, next is 180, next is uh, like... Uh, ratio of that clear you can by calculating by multiples of that so we calculate it by v plus u by 2 that is initial velocity plus final velocity by 2 that is arithmetic mean of the velocities this formula is when you are given displacement about that going and coming back and time is given this formula we use when velocity is itself given and then we have to calculate average velocity. So this is your speed and velocity topic. You can click the screenshots or the other things. Now let us take an example and then you can understand the numerical. Now look it. If I will say that this 16 meter time in 4 seconds. Now next A to B. Now next 10 meter distance in 2 seconds. So, what is the average speed of for this motion? So, average speed is 16 plus 10, 4 plus 2. This is second. So, it becomes 26 by 6. So, when will you solve this? You will get your answer. Got it? So, this is average speed. Similarly, if average velocity I have to take. So, if this body is moving in one direction only. So, average speed and average velocity are same average speed and velocity are same but if the body but if the body or the object returns back from a b to c and it comes back to a so what is the total distance covered at that time you will see average speed nikalni hame jab bodies a par wapas aagi so let's see this 16 plus 10 10 plus 16 Upon how much let us take the same time. 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4. So this do and then you will get your answer. By adding all these like 20, 20, 
10 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, and then plus do it, you will solve it. So, but at that time, what is average velocity? Because it reaches back to a point, so displacement is zero. And whatever the time is there, upon this you will write total time like 4 plus 2, 6 or 4 plus 2, 6, 12. So, average velocity is zero. So, average speed can be equal to average velocity when, when body moves in a straight line and in same direction. But average velocity can be zero, average speed can never be zero. Thank you. Thank you.